get it here. So today we're gonna be making some Rocky Road brownies. Get your little brownies mixed together here. And I'm gonna be using my brownie pan to get this ready for you and get it started. So this is my brownie pan, I'm so excited. So for people who like brownies with the edge and the, the crust on the side, they'll all come out like that. And today after I get done baking, I am gonna be gifting a special follower some free Rocky Road brownies. So let's go ahead and stay tuned and see how we're gonna do that there. I have all my ingredients here that we need. We got our, I use them brownie mix. You can use whatever brownie mix you like. But I like to use Gradelli's because it is really good and it has a moist consistency when it bakes. You're going to need your brownie mix. You're going to need your marshmallows. I love Jet Puff. Or you can just use it store brand if you like. But this is what I had on hand because they were on sale. I also have my diamond pecans. The chopped pecans are going to be really good inside of the Rocky Road there. Check it over there as well. And normally for Rocky Road, even though it's chocolate on chocolate, I like to use chocolate chips in there. But for today, I'm going to be using white chocolate chips so you can see them when they bake. And we have them here. Got our, excuse me, upside down there. Got our white chocolate chips there. And you're going to need a rubber spatula. You're going to need one third cups of oil. You're going to need one egg one third cups of water and a porch pan to spray your um spray your pan so it won't get stuck Let's get it there all right so we're gonna get here so what i'd like to do the oven is supposed to be set at 325 degrees we've got that set there and then we're going to already have that warming up you want to go ahead and prep your pan before you get started because brownies don't take that long and you just have to mix stir and that's it so I'm going to go ahead and go over this, um, spray my um, pan here. Spray it well and evenly so you can see that. Great. Set that to the side. You already have your brownie mix. I like to mix with a spatula because that gets all the edges in there and all mixed up. So get that there. So like I said, one third cup of oil. I want to pour that in there. All right, and you need a third cup of water. Y'all already know. I already know where this water came from. So get your water ready. Like to measure it there in the glass cup. Make sure it's one third. You look at the little levels there. Pour that in. It only costs for one egg. So brownies are really simple because it's a thick mixture. So they cream well, and it costs for one egg. So we're gonna go ahead and crack that there. Get it started, yeah. Okay, let me get that in there. Hope you guys are having a good day today. All right, y'all know how I am with the eggs. Gotta wash those hands. Just can't do it. So I hope you guys are having a good day today. You want to mix the brownies up as well. And I have a lot of stuff to talk to you guys about because we want to talk about these mosquitoes. Now, as y'all know, I have my do done, but I had to put on my friend today. These are called friends. So you guys see different friends in different videos. However, the mosquitoes got me the other day, probably had 20 bites or so. And I just had a rough time sleeping. I actually had to go get me some Benadryl to uh, deal with them because I think I had an allergic reaction to that mosquito and therefore went my due. But that's all right though. Everybody needs a friend in their life. You get you a friend and your due will be done. So you just want to mix evenly here. Mix up the mix. I like to go around the edges and go inside to make sure you mix evenly. You see the egg is incorporating there. Mix, mix, mix. Fold. Not over mixing, not beating or whipping up, just kind of mixing up. Keep it mixing there. Folding in, getting the batter from the bottom. 
Should I make 16 nice size brownies? So I'm excited about that. Mix, mix, mix. Yes. Kind of want to fold it and spread it inside like this to get the dry parts out. You see how it's dry there? And just keep folding inside till you break all those pockets up. Make sure you mix it. All right. I'm excited because it's almost fall. Fall is baking season. So I'll be baking a lot of stuff on top of what I bake now. Hopefully trying to get incorporate more pies and get those in there. So I put these posts out. I need to hear back from you guys. Let me know what you guys want to see. I post out if you guys want to see something or you have questions about a certain item you want to make. Post it, let me know. Tag me. Tag me on um, hashtag AskChefMom. Or you can send at Chef Mom virtually on all platforms. It's really good there. Nice and rich. Looks like it already has some chocolate chips already in it. Yes. Oops, mix that there. Mix it nice and even. That looks so good. But you don't taste it because it has egg in it. So, you know, you want to mix before that. Okay, so we've got it all mixed in there. And we've got our pan ready. So the next thing I want to put in is I want to put in more chocolate chips. Because we want to see them and incorporate that in there. I just tear a little hole on the side. I'm just kind of sprinkle it in there. Make it look good. Yes. Since it has chocolate chips in there already, I'm not going to put that much. But I just want to add it for the color and the texture. It will be fun. Set that aside there. And just kind of fold these over. You don't want to stir really hard. Just a couple of folds. See that? Scrape your edges. Fold it in. Get it there. Alrighty. Thank you for joining us today. It's really hard for me to see right now because I have uh, two different angles here. So if you're joining us, I appreciate you. Without no you, there's no me. So this is great. So we've got the chocolate chips in there. Nice and white. You can see the texture there. I think that is Sumo. Hey, Sumo. How you doing? And um, fold it in there. The next thing I like to do are add the nuts. So we have pecans that are going to go in there. One of my favorite, favorites. Nuts. So this is a really good diamond brand. They are known for their nuts. And they have really good quality. The packaging is really good. Um, I like to keep the nuts in their packaging. Because, you know, people have allergies, so I don't really put them in containers. Just in case I need to use that container for something else, I like to keep it in its original packaging and keep the air out. So we're going to open this up here and put some pecans in our brownies. Yes. So excited. So, do you guys like brownies? Go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know what kind of brownies you like. So we've got this here. Sprinkle in these pecans. Yes. This is probably about, I'll say, half a cup. A lot of people ask me, where's my recipes? A lot of stuff I just make. I don't use a lot of recipes, but I've been baking so long and so much, I just bake. Kind of like to what I feel. More so with the cakes, you have to be um, using ingredients and then make sure you're evening it out. Kind of just want to fold those in. You don't want to over mix it and make sure you get that in there. All right, go ahead and leave me a comment if this looks good. This looks yummy. And then um, fold that in there. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. I'm just saying. So I'm so excited. And today I am gifting one of my followers some Rocky Road brownies. And I picked a lucky follower today and they're going to get a surprise dropped off to them they're really rich so watch it there all right give me just a moment here and the last thing i like to put in is the marshmallows at the end because you don't want them to get all mushy so i kind of sprinkle those in springently to uh get the marshmallows in 
sprinkle them over the top. Oh my goodness. That's probably about half a cup as well. So we're just gonna do half, half a cup of the chocolate chips. Probably, no, I think that's a quarter of a cup for chocolate chips. Half a cup of uh, pecans, half a cup of marshmallows. You should be good. So like this, this recipe makes 16 and I'm gonna fold them lightly. The marshmallows are actually gonna add moisture into the brownies. So that's gonna be extra there too. All right. Folding just very lightly to fold. Not stir, fold. And just fold the batter over on top of the marshmallows. Look at that. And there you go. Rocky Roll Brownies. You wanna take your spatula and you wanna scoop it into your pan. So I'm gonna move this to the side so you can kind of see the pan. Have the pan here. My little brownie pan. I'm so excited to use it. I haven't used it yet because I was been so busy, but we'll get it there. Angle it up so everybody can see. Perfect. Great. So get that there. And give me just a moment here. All righty. Okay, get that sent there. So after we got the pan here, we are gonna load it up and we are going to place this right here. If you would have a scoop, but since it's so much texture, you don't wanna overfill the, the pockets. You wanna make sure they're all coated. Some of them don't look like they are. You wanna go back in there and add some in there. See, kind of lightly spray like that. And that gets the edges filled up because these are gonna be edged up. You wanna make sure you spray it good. Get that out of the frame there, move this over the way. Now, I'm taking them out, this is probably to me, this is about, that's about two tablespoons worth of brownie. So you wanna put that in there. Yes, look at that. That looks so good. And it pretty much fills up the cup. So maybe just a little bit less maybe like one tablespoon put in there because I know they're going to fill up and drop that in there full of marshmallows nuts and chips delicious okay so I don't know about y'all but these mosquitoes are something else like they are little teeny tiny they look like gnats you can't see them, they're really fast or swift. And they like to bite like they're at a buffet. So I, I don't understand that. They bite you up and now they're like to the point where they just creep in the house. So I have no peace. I can't even get peace in the house. They come in the house and they, they bite me up. So we've got that there. We wanna watch the edges and drop that into the pan. Yes, delicious. So you're not too full. This last one here is really full, but oh well. And just put about, I wanna say that's about a tablespoon of brownie mix. Not too much, because it's gonna go into the edges and fill each cup up. Press it down in there. This makes a pretty good amount. This is a um, 12 brownie pan put in there. And we are going to get that there. All right. So after these bake, the first lucky winner of some free Rocky Road brownies, um, brownie today is going to be hair by Tiff. She is amazing. You guys need to get your hair done, get you some highlights. She's a colorist and she does really well. I'll be gifting her some brownies today. She's always been a loyal follower since I first started my Instagram channel and I really do appreciate that. 
get those in there for you there. All right. If there's anything you guys want to see, let me know. I'm here for you, and that's just what we do. All right, drop those in there. Brownies cook for about 50 minutes. I'm going to put some more over in this one. This one got a little jipped. Not too full. Not all the way. About like that. Can you see that? Looks really good. And no need to press down. What I like to do if I get batter on the outside, I like to take a paper towel and wipe that up. Because that's going to stick in there. Let me see. So get that in there. We're going to put that into the oven and bake our batch. The oven is set at 325 degrees. And I wanna put this onto the middle shelf. Just like this, right in the center. We're gonna let that bake for a little bit there and come back. So, there's a little bit more batter left, but I'll put that back on the next round. I, have a lot of questions for you guys today there's like some serious topics that i really wanted to talk to you guys about and it's really like the hunger because a lot of people look at the world today and they think that there are you know poverty exists in these other third world countries and i'm here to tell you that it's right next door your next door neighbor the lady with the nice car nice clothes on who probably doesn't have food to put on the table. And it's really sad because if you really are not involved in the schools or you know, around the little children today, there's people that are irresponsible and kids that go to school without lunch, therefore that they are, you know, lost without lunch. And it's just really sad to see, you know, we're in a pandemic right now, so you should consider yourself a blessed person because if you're well-to-do and you have the option to go get yourself something to eat, be blessed. I really have a passion for feeding the homeless, and I do that from time to time, and I'll volunteer. So that's something I'm probably getting ready here soon to uh, get a homeless feeding together. Because there's a lot of kids who, when they're not at school, they don't eat. And I really didn't know the magnitude of it until I seen it with my own eyes and Wow. Yeah. Touching subject. Um, so what I want to know is if you guys want me to cook other things, let me know. If there's things that you like, let me know. And um, I would like to cook those different things. Like today with the brownies, we're going to cook those for about 50 minutes. And then I will come right back with you guys. You guys have a great day. And thank you so much.